Week 8 pickups. Bum, 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 bum. YouTube Oz it going. The Goat House is back. We're back picking every single Week 8 game like we do every Tuesday mm. night picking NFL games. The best damn pick show in the land. Hit below me, leaderboard, subs. <laughs> Below me, the Below leaderboard <laughs> and the subs league leaderboard, the week seven winner. His picks in the video this week. You could join the league still to be in each week's picks. But winner, Ryan Pollock. He's been here picking before. Oh, fish boy. And it's his birthday today, guys. Oh, happy on, birthday. On, happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Are we doing the whole song? Happy birthday, dear Brian Pollack. Happy birthday to you. And you smell like one, two. How old are you? Don't answer that. Clap it up, clap it up. On his birthday, he is a guest picker. What is what? That's crazy. If you want to be a guest picker, join that subs league. The winner of each week, not on the year, each week gets their picks featured in our video. What if you want to be an American picker? Uh, that's we don't we can't help you with that. All right, let's get into those picks. Thursday night football: Vikings Ooh. at Rams. The Rams start to get a little. It's an interesting game, folks. Interesting game because the Rams start to get a little healthier. Cooper Cup supposed to come back on Thursday night football. Puka Nakua is being activated, but I don't think he will play yet. We will see. Rams are a little better at home. I think they can start putting something together, but at the same time, Cooper Cup possibly being shopped. There's some weird rumors about Stafford to the weird. Vikings. I'm not really buying those, but that would be insane. It's just a silly rumor, it feels like, right now. So are the Rams shopping? Are they selling? Shopping? So is that going to affect them in this game? Mm. So this could be an interesting one. I think people right away would instantly go Vikings. Without hesitating, I say you should hesitate a little bit. This okay. oh. Vikings coming off a loss. The Rams are going to start picking it up. They're much better at home. Vikings got to travel. Let me give you a, let me give you a fun fact here that might get you to pick the Rams. Thursday night football, when teams have to travel two time zones away, they lose twenty or excuse me, they lose eighty percent of the time. So only twenty percent have won on Thursday night football in the history of the NFL when they have to travel two time zones away. So the odds is this two time zones away. It is. I, I'm not a good time zone guy. Yeah, it is. So, uh, Vikings got to uh, go to L.A. What's going to happen here? I think you want us to take the Rams, to be honest. I I could see the Rams winning all day, but the Vikings are the better team. I think we get uh, quite a bit of offense. I think Stafford and Darnold both have good games. The Vikings the better team right now as the Rams are still trying to stay he get healthy. So I will take the Vikings. They are favored, so the odds are with them there. But looking at that Thursday night traveling situation as the Rams are getting uh, on top of the Rams getting healthier right now, Cooper Cup, maybe the odds are against the Vikings. But I'm going to go with Minnesota in this one. What does Yeller got? You know who he's got. What does uh, Fishboy got? He's got the Vikings. Ryan Fish, that's a good that's a good one. He's fishing. <clears throat> that looks clean. Ryan Pollock, birthday I, boy. You make me want to go with the Rams here, but I think I'm going to go with the Vikings on the road. The 20 percenters. The 20 percent. Let me tell you something about this week, though. This week, first glance, it's a lot of these games. They look like they might be easy, but there's going to be teams that are shockingly upset, and this could be one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I'll pick some in this game. Maybe I won't. I think there's, Shock. there's going to be teams that are favored by a bit. That get upset. And there's teams that you think would be a favorite by a bit more. How much you think? Have you seen the line of this game? Yeah, that you've seen it. Right? Does it show you on there? It just gives it you like the spread. Not no, really the spread. The, not no. the spread. No, you would it? think it would be more than, than Vikings, two and a half. Three. Vikings are minus one forty-five. That's what that's what it gives you. Okay. It gives you those betting those betting odds there. Um. Yeah, you think they would be favored by more, but they know something there. But there's a lot of those games this week. All right. Uh, I got the Vikings Pete's. as well. I mean. I know Stafford doesn't really have much going on, but I wasn't very impressed with their with their game against um, the Raiders this past week. Okay, fine. All right. You guys see the Raiders kick that field goal down eight with yeah. 250 left? What a, what a bold, they, they bold, covered bold because, strategy. They covered the spread because of that field goal, keep in mind. Interesting. I think Antonio Pierce is just like he knows Sketchy he knows doomed. he knows he's done. So he knows he's he knows he's done soon. So he's just. I mean, he's Pete, he's Pete we'll get to the it? Raiders yeah. this week. That could be one of those. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll get to. It. We're gonna we're gonna get guys. We're gonna get to it, right. my guys. Uh, all, all right. right. Guys. 
Ooh, no. Oh, Eagles. Bengals. The Bengals are wearing those all whites, folks. Home oh. against the Eagles. This is this is the toughest one. This is one of my favorite ones of the week here. Uh, toughest one to pick. You got two teams that are starting to pick it up. Two teams that you question their defense going into the year and early in the year, and now they're both starting to pick it up. But have they truly been tested these defenses yet? And the Bengals offense looking elite, but not late now lately slowing down a little bit. The Eagles offense we've kind of expected more, but they really got Saquon going. They've been getting going, uh, you know, last week, but they really have been getting going since AJ Brown came back for the last couple weeks. But have these teams been tested? So this is an interesting matchup here. Two, you know, their paths have been different, but similar teams with similar strengths and weaknesses here. Um, so it should, this was one again one of the tougher ones to pick. Anybody want to start us yeah. off? Yeah. I'm ready. Pete's ready. He had a good week. Give me week. the Eagles. Oh, Let's he's... go. I just think uh, they're getting Saquon going. It opens up the pass game a little bit for them. Cincinnati really struggles with defending the run. Um, yeah, give me the Eagles. I just, I just like, Bengals I like are the, favored by two and a half. In I this like game. the matchup. Bengals favored by two and a half. Junior? I got the upset alert as well with Peter. Ooh, I see. I thought I was going to maybe be by my side. I figured somebody would be with me, but it looks like not. I'm feeling the Eagles in this game. I'm trying to figure out which defense is for real. I'm honestly not trusting either from the recent weeks. They haven't been tested. I just don't think they're the greatest defenses. Of course, they got better. But, man, the Bengals, the Eagles stopped the run. Pretty well. I know the Bengals really aren't a big rushing team, but the Bengals real. I really don't try. I can't talk. I really don't trust them stopping the run. Still, the Eagles are one of the very best in football running the football with Saquon Barkley and Jalen Hurts, and you have to account for AJ Brown and Devontae Smith. I know the Bengals. You have to account for those receivers, and they could kind of expose that the Eagles' defense a bit. So I, I can actually see a shootout in this one. But the team that can control the clock and the ground, the Eagles, trust them. A little bit more, and I don't like how the Bengals offense is. I think the offense gets going in this game, but I don't like how the defense is going here. Even though we don't fully trust it, and the offense is dropping down a little bit. So, I uh, I was feeling the Eagles and the running game all around. Like I said, I think they can run all over them. One of the best rushing, not the greatest stopping to run, and the Bengals don't really. They're not. Their running game's not much of a factor. We've seen some explosive plays from the. The duo they had, they have this year, but I'm feeling the Eagles in this one as well, and I'm surprised that all three of us are on there right now. Yeah, uh, Yeller. Yeller's got the Bengals. Here we and go. So they is are, Ryan. There we go. That makes more sense. Yeah. I thought. I thought I was gonna be the only one. That's why I wanted. To I jump, thought I, my, so I wanted to jump in there right yeah. away. I thought usually those ones where I think I'm gonna be the only one, I kind of let you guys go first, and then I kind of surprise everyone. But I thought. Most likely there's going to be one person with me, but the Bengals are favored. They haven't won at home yet, so they are due. They are wearing the all-white. so Trying something different at home. Joe Burrow could dice them up. They could score 30-plus so. yeah. points. I think the Eagles could score that too. Jalen Hurts been a little off. I don't know. The Bengals, Geno Stone a little beat up for the Bengals. Orlando Brown Jr. a little beat up. for the. You know, I know my lot, Jordan Mailata's out still. He was out last week. But Bengals got some in new injuries there, too. I'm just a little surprised they're favored, but, again, I could see it at the same time. This was the toughest one to pick. This is the closest yeah. one I was. So we got a good old-fashioned split. And Pete has told me in junior he has story time for oh, us. Oh, you guys want it right now? I yeah. say right now. Yeah, sweet. Um, Let's do it. He will not tell us what it was before recording. It happened today. I texted you guys right when it – All right, caps. Right after it happened, I was like, this is this is nuts right all, here. You texted all caps. Good. I so got good story stuff. time today. Good stuff here. It's about the channel as well. So – you guys know, I don't know if you guys know, but I, I teach at a high school and I coach as well. But end of the day, I got done with teaching. I was going, I went into the weight room to get the boys going on the lift before practice. And then I walk out of the weight room and I'm going into my office. Things blocking my head. Okay, okay right. go ahead. Going to my office and I hear like, I hear like something and then Pete. Like I heard like something Pete and I was like, I was like, is someone like, is someone like trying to get my attention? So I turn around, and I see this guy. He's like, he's a custodian at our at our school, and he's moving like chairs or something like that. And he like stops what he was doing. and He saw me, and he like his face, like his jaw dropped, and he was like, "Pigskin Pete." <laughs> he was just so he was so shocked that I was there. We, and we've been working, we've been working together this whole time. This custodian was just so shocked. <laughs> And he was honored to meet me. He had to come shake my hand <laughs> and meet me. It was it was just a great moment. Wow. I was like I was like, Pigs did you sign some for? Right him? when he said Pigskin Pete, I was like, I was like, what? 
I was I was confused. What's so, his name? So when you heard Pete originally, but you weren't sure he was calling for you? Yeah, like or I I think he was like, is that is that? It was almost like is that picture? This was Pete? in your office. I was getting I was coming out of my office. I was like coming out uh, after. Well, actually, I didn't yeah, I didn't explain that right. I went to my office to grab something. And I was going back to the <laughs> weight room, and uh, yeah, all of a sudden I heard uh, something, Pete, and I was like, that's awesome. Like someone getting my attention. He's like, pick. And he also he saw my face. He's like, pigskin Pete. That's awesome. Pete. I know that's awesome. great. And I was like glad glad to meet a fan. And uh, <laughs> I was like, we got we got to record tonight. And I was like asking about him and uh, how long he's been working there. So Did you get his name? We're both. What was his name? His oh, name? <laughs> Sorry, no. guys. Uh, I apologize to him. It was something with a J. It was something with a J. Oh, uh, I put you on the Joe, spot. Joe. Yeah, Joe. Shout out to Joe, John, John, Josh. It was one of the three. One oh, of the three there. You pull Sorry. It. I'll, have to, I'll have to run into him again and talk. Another to him shout again. out coming. I had to go right away, so I was like, I gotta go to, I gotta go back to the weight room. But um, that was great to meet a fan that, that I work with there. Hey, let's too. clap it up. Clap, yeah, it, clap up. it up. We've been talking about that happening sometimes. Remember the the guy that saved the picture yeah. of me and Danny for tub time yep. at tub the Bears time. game. Had a few people at the at the gym recognize me. It's just it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Cool stuff. No one's recognizing me. Not yet. No. <laughs> Pigskin Pete. That, that was just the best I heard. Junior. Pigskin Pete. Oh, well, man. okay. Right. Good old split in one of the games of the so far the game of the week. Maybe a high scoring squeaker. Who the hell knows? What do we got next? No. Ooh. Oh. Oh. No. James uh, Winston. The Ravens no. are hot. I mean, what if? No. No. I saw something that uh, Lamar's first in fantasy points and then Derrick Henry's second in fantasy right now. Oh, my God. Yeller's, one Yeller's two, got both those oh, guys in one league. One two punch. Is he doing nice? Yeller? Yeah, in that league. I don't uh, know if he's doing that. I think he's doing okay. I think he's got a winning record, but like. No, I think it's, two, it's a different league. as an ESPN. I think it's the Goat oh, House League. He yeah, has two to, losses, oh. I think. Wow. I'm undefeated in that league. I'm rolling. Our my, league, he's got them too. In our league, I'm the, my worst team I've ever had in my life. Just awful. But we're gonna turn it around. Tua coming back, and I don't really, I don't have Tua, but I have Tyree Kill Dua. and A Chan, and that Tyree Kill's been. Did you guys see that ball that the, that, was, that dropped right in front of Tyree where he like stopped playing? Yeah, this. I was like, what was going on with that? Tyreek needs his Tua or Mahomes. Like a guy like Justin Jefferson, I mean, you put Nick Mullins out there, you put Darnold, Cousins, no matter who it is, he's still Justin Jefferson. So let's stop talking about those guys in the same conver- same conversation, okay? Let's All right. Do, okay. do that for me. Fine, fine. Because they, they belong nowhere near the same conversation. Oh, They're fine. both great, different ten- – we're talking about com- like everything it takes to play receiver, nowhere near the same level. Nowhere near. First All right. Team. Oh, All right. I'm All right. first tight end. First oh, things first. Give me we're my, gonna, give me my team. We're gonna put Pete on his team. Let's we're gonna, go. We're gonna put Pete Lions, right on his baby. team. There you go. It's he made team. a change. His team is the Detroit Lions. He's wearing big big win last week. Which blue? What kind of blue you got on right now? I got a Lions. This is a Lions blue. Honolulu blue. That's a Honolulu blue. It looks a little more okay. Uh, no, it looks like Junior said he has the Titans. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> I was trying to get Pete all excited, but I forgot he switched yeah, teams. Yeah, my favorite team. I forgot you switched teams. Who I got a rival. I got a rival you guys here. Who the got, hell are the Titans going to play a quarterback this week? We got Bears, Vikings, Lions. We're all in the NFC North. All right. We're gonna, I'm going to lock this in as my Drew Lock of the week. The Detroit Lions win in an ass pounding. Uh, and the Titans Wait, play what? good defense. They were. Uh, Playing the until Bills they didn't, until they didn't, and they yeah. But they were, <laughs> it was ten to seven at halftime. Once again, at but if the Bills lead. are constantly on offense and it's a defense, thirty four to ten. Then. Yeah. Oof. It's tough. Tough. Um. Real, real concerned right now. Just concerned overall about the, about about. Who's the, your quarterback of future? Last week you said Carson Beck. Yeah, he he didn't look great, but they still got the W. Ewers is going down to shitter. Milrow, I mean, never was a first round pick, but according to some people, he was. Shadur, Shadur Sanders. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, one thing that was like really alarming. Like, I get it. Some people are throwing stuff out there. Like, first time head coaches, like uh, Dan Campbell. You know, they 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 the first year they really struggled. The first two years they struggled. Like it takes time to rebuild. Like, all right, all these teams. But one thing I was really concerning was uh, Mason Rudolph was asked like when he got this. Like when did he find out he was starting? He found out on Saturday. Oh boy. And uh, like it came out like on Saturday that like he was starting. And 
Schefter reported that Levis had like has like a four to five week injury. I was like, how does how does Mason Rudolph not get any of the first team reps really and find out the day before that he's starting in that game when you know Levis is hurt? You know what they should do? They should put Devondre Sweat at running back and just hand him the ball. I don't know how anybody's going to bring him down. It's going to be slow motion, but well, okay. All right. What do we got next, guys? What, my guys, what do we got? Oh, we you're, got? Out order. you're out of order here. I'm out of order? All over the place, all yeah. over the board. Really? No, I guess she's all right now. I, I don't know if it's a set order. Cardinals, Dolphins, Cardinals with a good win on Monday night football against Man, the Chargers. Man, that game was terrible. Yeah, um, and the Dolphins are expected to get to a tongue of a lower back. I sent you, I was watching that, staying up watching that Cardinals-Chargers game because of my fantasy, that fantasy league I was in. Man, was I disappointed. It's an elimination league. I don't know if I told Junior about this. It's you an elimination this, league. Man. So there's 18 teams, and it's the lowest scoring team of each week gets eliminated from the league for the rest of the year. Oh, boy. And then their players go into free agency, and you blind bid. You have a 1,000, like, fake dollars to put a blind bid in to try and get these players. My team looked loaded. I had Kirk Cousins, who was awful, and Drake London. Drake, I'm blaming Drake London right now because – the ball went through his hands, and he got he got me minus points for Kirk Cousins. I had Tony Pollard, J.K. Dobbins. That's what I was watching. Uh, did you did you watch? Did you guys watch the end of that game or no? Mm-hmm. Did you see where Herbert like his second to last play? He rolled out and he went to go throw it to Dobbins, and then, like he pump faked it and decided to run for six yeah. yards. If you would have thrown it to Dobbins, it's PPR. Thrown it to Dobbins and Dobbins got those six yards. I would have made the cut. So that was brutal. Sorry, uh, I had Malik Neighbors who didn't do Were much. Were you playing against Justin Herbert in that fantasy league? Well, no, it's because it's, it's been worse. lowest scoring. It's not, it's not team. I'm, you know just, what I mean? oh, okay. I'm just being funny. Uh, I had Malik Neighbors. A.J. Brown did well. Uh, Tank Dell had zero points. Like, mm. what What was what was that? I don't know. It's Evan tough. Ingram didn't do anything. Who else did I have? Who's my last guy? People want to hear you ramble on about know. your fantasy. Sorry, I don't, I'm not really sure. Sorry, guys. I'm not really sure if they do. Sorry. All right, Anyways. interesting game here. The Cardinals looked pretty solid. They can run the shit out of the ball. James Conner and Kyler Murray. Dolphins kind of struggle to stop the run this year, so that's how the Cardinals can claim victory. I know Tua coming back, there could be a lot of rust. Tua maybe he's not right. Maybe he's got the yips. Who knows? That'd be a reason to go Cardinals. reason to not go Cardinals is they seem to be inconsistent as hell every other week with them, it seems. They're, on a, they're coming off a good week. The Dolphins, if Tua, I'm, I'm going to say Tua plays here with my pick. That's got to be a tough game plan. Tua with all Tua those weapons, playing? I think he's playing. All right. uh, I'm going to take the Dolphins at home, home field advantage. Tough game plan, but maybe they're a little rusty. Maybe they're not ready, and the Cardinals run the shit out of the ball over them, and they win. But if Tua's playing, I'm going Dolphins. If Tua's not playing, there's no way in hell I'm going Dolphins. I'm in the same boat. Okay. And I just remembered it was Devontae Adams who did nothing. I'm taking the Cardinals no matter what. Cardinals, no matter what. No matter what. But it is Call of Duty week. Oh. I mean, he's going to be so fired up. That's for Call of Duty, not Kyler for Call of Duty. When does it come out? Is it Friday. Out? Friday? Mm-hmm. Uh, You're ready. It's pretty downloaded, whatever. Yeller not, has not Dolphins. It. Yeah, this might be the first one ever I don't get. I played the beta, and I was like, eh, maybe I'm just getting old. I don't know. Uh, Yeller, and, Dolphins, or no, sorry, Cardinals. He's, oh, no, no, Yeller, Dolphins. Oh, he is Dolphins, yeah. Uh, Ryan, I'm looking at the wrong one. Yeah, Ryan's, birthday boy. Ryan's taking the Cardinals, Cardinals but Miami of like two. Uh, Miami of two is playing. Yeah. So let's, let's, yeah, bring him over there. Oh. If two is playing? Yeah, because we, we think two is I, playing. Yeah, I think, but I don't know. I mean, he said Cardinals unless two is playing. So he's Cardinals now. He's switching over if two is playing. So but he, we're Dolphins because we think two is playing, but we're Cardinals. If he's speaking playing. of Miami. Whoa. Oh. If Mr. you guys, I t- yeah, I saw Mr. 305 at the airport, actually. That's awesome. No, I was looking for him. I didn't see him. No. He probably wasn't there at all. I mean, he probably has a private jet. Yeah. But I was like, what? Um, he gets more shout-outs on this show than anyone ever, more than football players. So I thought that fun fact for you guys. Like, if, but, we, if we went non-football players, who gets the most shout-outs on the show? Mr. Probably, 305, then Mr. Vin Diesel. Then Vin Diesel. That's yeah. exactly Vin Diesel was, was on, like, that other pick show we did. I don't know if we, how many shout-outs he's had on the regular weekly pick show. True. The NFL pick show. Uh, but anyways, yeah, as I was saying last week, I had to go to the Keys for a wedding. So I had to fly to Miami and then from there fly to the Keys, pain in the ass. I feel like I'm on the plane right now. I'm not even kidding. I feel like I'm doing this. Anybody ever feel like felt like that? I felt like that, yeah. It's been – I, you know, I got home last night, still feel like that. But I had to go from Miami last Thursday to the Keys. I left at 6 a.m. from Chicago 
and didn't get to the Keys until around 6 p.m. there. So that was an insane traveling day. And I do the same thing back. Keys to Miami, Miami to O'Hare. But Key West, anybody in the comments, let me know if you've ever been there. It is a strange, strange place, I thought. Felt like I was in a different country. Kind of think feels like anything goes there. We had, the place we were at the we were where the wedding was at. There was cats everywhere, and that was like a known thing that cats live there. Forty five cats, and they have six toes. All the cats. Oh. That was interesting. Uh, there's like one street called Duval Street. Du Duval. Duval. It's like a poor man's Bourbon Street, I guess, and it's like where everything's at. At the end of one end of it's the southernmost point. I thought that area is pretty pretty cool, I guess. But it's like bars, tattoo shops, weed shops, and weed isn't legal there that I know of and there's all these weed shops and the signs say no medical card needed so I thought that was interesting and people just walk around it's like a known thing they walk around with open container like alcohol they, they get alcohol from the bar and they just walk around the streets with it people just run in the road they don't follow signs you know they just it's almost like the people have the right of way you know, they're just going to go in front of cars. They don't even look. It's crazy. And there's literally there's a parade going on now. They do it every year, I think, from the Sunday that just passed to next Sunday. And people just walk up and down the street, and they're literally, like, naked. I We walked by a guy. He got started early. Somebody told me, like, turn around, and he had a tutu on and nothing else. I turn around and look. It's just hairy, his hairy ass, hairy ass is just out. Wow. This is a true What's story. On? And it's just like a thing there. And I seen a woman that was naked, but she was painted. Fully naked, but paint, had paint over it, and that's like we didn't go down there Sunday night. Apparently, Sunday night till the next Sunday night, that's like what happens. Like a million people. They don't work. They. Uh, it's just strange. I don't know. It's like and there's more. Take a week off. And yeah, there's roosters. Off. There's roosters everywhere, and you just roosters. hear them. What do you call that noise that roosters make in the morning? They make it all day. Cock a doodle doo. Yeah, yeah. You'll you won't even see them, and all of a sudden you hear it. It's crazy there. It's weird. It's strange. Let me know in the comments if you had that experience as well. Are you sure you didn't go to that parade? Uh, I'm, I'm, oh, the parade. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't go? I'm sure. Uh, I didn't. I mean, people got started early. People were sitting there. We had foreign people come up to us. Like, Do you know when the parade starts? Like, well, what, yeah, is, sure. what is this place? Yeah, I mean, it's closer to Cuba than it is like Miami, if you think about it distance-wise. So it, it, I keep saying it felt like a different country. And it, you know, it's not technically, but it almost is. Like, you're... There's no cops. I don't. I, didn't, I mean, I saw cops, but they just, let you, they just let you get away with anything there. So, food was really good. A plus for the food. I mean, I did have fun, but it was. Uh, there's a lot of weird things going on. Okay. Didn't you, see a clock anywhere my whole time there either. You're sure you didn't go to the bridge? I didn't. I mean, people got started early, so I saw. I guess a little bit of it, but I don't know. Okay. I mean, I saw a naked guy with a tutu, hairy ass, just sticking out. Definitely saw a drug deal go down too. I don't know how much of that I could talk about on YouTube, but definitely, definitely saw one go down and just in the busy street in broad daylight. We're gonna move on. Uh, Jets right. oh. in Patriots. The second time these two teams are playing, the Jets are stinking it up. Drake Mays, you know, trying to take off here. I think he could do that at any time. He is playing a good defense. The defense wasn't too good against the Steelers in Russell Wilson. Russ, um, let Russ cook. Let him. Jets look dominant last time they played the Patriots. I they're not Brissett couldn't do anything. I think Drake May does a little bit more, but I, I think the Jets got to win this game. I'm pretty confident with them winning. I think they're favored about favored by about seven points. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Jets. I think another week with Devontae Adams getting familiar. It just seemed like he was kind of like a a decoy for the most part in that first game. Um, get Brees Hall going again, and then Garrett Wilson was pretty solid in that game too. So you got got a nice. You know, three weapons there. Get Junior over there as get well. Junior over there. And go ahead and – oh, Ryan said, no let's get crazy. And he's going to go with the Patriots. Ooh, oh, my God. That's birthday so guy. Crazy. What a birthday boy. What a birthday boy. He's such is. a good boy. <laughs> such a good boy. <laughs> what? Ryan Pollock. Lone let's, let's go fish crazy. in it. Lone fish mm -hmm. on the Patriots. There you have it. Well, Ryan, it's been nice. I mean, you having you in the picks. <laughs> he won't be in it next we'll week. We'll see you next week. Bro. If we see him next week, uh, he's gonna have some some words for you. Oh, he will. He will. Oh, oh. Falcons. God, now first, I now I don't know. First, the Bucks wearing the creamsicles. Expected to wear the creamsicles. They just played a few weeks ago. We had a thriller that went down to overtime. The Falcons got a little lucky in that game, but. They were dominant on offense. Kirk Cousins threw for over 500 yards. Drake London, as he does, he goes Drops off. The ball. Again, no, he goes off against the Buccaneers. He dominates the Buccaneers. 
Did but you the see Bucks. That? Did you see that, that one though? Yeah, the, the thing, it wasn't the Falcons' day. I mean, oh, you see Kirk's God. fumble. Yeah, that was like, pretty bad. Yeah, that just ended the game basically. Uh, but the Bucks are going to be explosive still. But Mike Evans and Chris Godwin are going to be out in this game. Mike Evans won't be out for the year, but will be back around week 11. And Chris Godwin's foot was facing the wrong way. And it was facing the wrong way. He is done for. Let's see if they can add a receiver before the trade deadline. But I think the Bucks can do- – Bucky Irving looks really good. I think they can dominate – and Rashad White. I think they can dominate on the ground. That's what they're going to try to do. They're going to pound the football. They're going to try to drain the clock and give the Falcons limited chances so what happened last time cannot happen. And they could win in those creamsicles doing that. I definitely could see it. But Falcons will be – they'll bounce back. They were a little off, it felt like, last week. Don't think it happens again. The Bucks secondary is Swiss cheese. Winfield looked awful uh, the other night. Yes, last night. Yep. Yesterday night, I was about to say. Yesterday. Uh, yesterday. I got to, without those receivers, I got to take Kirk Cousins, Drake London, getting the job done here. Falcons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to go with the Falcons, but it was disappointing last week. It, I mean, I already talked about it. Fan, the fantasy team was let – or Kirk Cousins let me down. Pete's really hurt by that. Yeah. If I know something about Junior, he's a huge creamsicle guy. I, I mean – I have the Falcons picked here right now, but I really want to I, I was go. tempted when I saw the saw – No, that give, me, give me the Buccaneers. Let's go. Give me the Buccaneers. Why not? He's a Baker guy. He's a creamsicle guy. Why he has not? to do it. Kate Otten. He's going to go off. Jalen McMillan maybe playing from the slot a little bit more here. Kate Why not us? Otten. McMillan could be good. if I'm trying to think what – because he's been playing outside a lot, but that's because Mike Evans gets injured and he kind of took his spot. But McMillan was a – best in the slot at Washington, so put him in Godwin's spot at an outside receiver. I don't know if they'll do that, but that that actually makes some sense to me. But uh, who's Yeller got? He's got the Bucks. Am I crazy? <laughs> Is it not on there? I don't think it's on here. I think I forgot. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I was like, am I? I kept. I looked over it like so many times. I'm like, am I crazy? Am I? I didn't write that one down. I thought we just froze there for a second. I thought we froze. I thought the video froze. He sent me a text. I wrote him down. I didn't. I didn't write either of their picks down. He picked the. He picked the Bucks. So I was right. The remember that. Goals. He knew. And I got to see what Rye picked. Oh, Rye. I thought he picked the Falcons. He did pick the Falcons. Ooh. Okay. Sorry for the slip up there, folks. Ooh, a nice split. <laughs> We're. I was in the keys for a little bit, so I'm a little off. So you're still on the plane, for all we know. Yeah, it feels like it. Still on the plane. Do you have any turbulence? Very little. Does that scare you? No. No. Like, random noises scare me, though. Well, and, yeah. I mean, not scare me, but I'm like, oh, God, what the heck? What was that? I'm on lookout, always. But we got on the flight from the Keys to Miami to come back, and the pilot came on the intercom, and he just spoke, I accidentally, I think, just spoke Russian or something, just completely different language. Um, so I was... You were freaking out then. I was like, okay. But then we got up in the air, and then... It's the Key West flight. They tell you it's like 58 minutes, but that's like the total time in the plane. Went from takeoff to wheels up to wheels down. It's like 30 minutes tops. It's so fast. Good, good uh, plane verbiage there. Thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I've been um, learning. I've been learning. But uh, he's on a lot of planes. Uh, yeah, I can feel like I'm on a plane now. This the still seat, on, like, he's still on one. This seat kind of like sinks We're a little bit. We're recording on a plane right now. Yep. Um, the last flight from Miami to O'Hare, pretty stinky. Turbulence, guys. Tur- pretty stinky. Pretty stinky flight from Miami stinky. to O'Hare the last time. Did not enjoy that. It's like a three-hour flight, too. So Stinky. Uh, two hour and like 50 minutes, to be exact. But hey, that's let's probably not those, exact. Let's get to those picks. Get back to those picks. A lot of story time. A lot of story time. A lot of st- we're, having, we're having fun here. We like Good to time. have fun here. Uh, Packers, oh. Jags. The Packers, you would think, would be favored. This is one of those ones. Packers, you think, would be favored by a shit ton. They're favored by four and a half. The Jags, I keep saying there's going to be a – because they're, they're talented, right? They're bad right now, but they're right. talented. Right. There's going to be a week where they kind of get going. They did win last week. They looked good in the second half. They did play the Patriots, but they looked pretty solid. To say. Um, they did play the, the Packers Patriots. seem to be a much different team home versus away right now. Jags are due to get going, so I'm going to do something – no, I'm almost going to do something crazy, but I'm not going to do it. I can totally see it, but the Packers are just far better. Jordan Love has a good game you know, against the Jags man coverage. They get the job done. Defense been getting better. Give me the Packers. Yeah, give me the Packers as well. Everyone's going with the Packers, right? Yeah. Vegas seems to think it's a trap. Yeah, I don't know why that line is so low. You'd think it would be like seven and a half. Four and a half. Something fishy is going to happen here. Something fishy. Q Ryan Pollock. 
Q Ryan Pollock, oh, who is a Packers back. fan. Oh. Is he really? He said he's the Packers fan, but he would be picking the Packers anyways. Makes he sense. better be taking the Bears, I swear to God. <laughs> uh, I swear to God, I took your Packers. I swear to God. You going to switch if he doesn't? No, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Whoa, Colts, Texans, second time playing. We Last time was pretty. blue. You, you played blue? I was, I was about to say, why did uh, the Colts, Vikings get flexed? To yeah, that's next week, Sunday night. It's a great question. Well, it was Eagles, matchup. Jags, but that's Doug Peterson ball. I think it's yeah. a little more interesting. Yeah, give me the Houston. You're not bleeding blue? No. Houston is kind of scaring me. Without Nico Collins? Yeah. yeah. Aren't, they, aren't they a little uh, – Sus? Yeah. They're still a good – Packers are a good, good team, team, though. Yeah, I think they're a good team. Right, but Houston's had a, had quite a few meatball games. Texans only favored by five and a half. I could totally see it. Division game, but I will take Houston at Houston if Flacco is playing. I don't know. Colts mm-hmm. might beat them with Flacco. Maybe. Everyone's going Houston here. Everyone's Houston? Yeah, Houston. Anthony Richardson. Sus? Pretty rough. Pretty rough. He stinks. Um, saw something. I think he's – He looks good in shorts, though. Looks good in shorts, That's yeah. about it. I think he's – it has like the record or something for like complete like lowest completion percentage for yeah to, like, he's up there start down, from down like, there. however many games he's played now I think he's like played like eight games maybe or something I don't know he's pretty stinky. pretty bad you know what's disappointing no buy teams this week so we don't have Pete's buy Pete I was out. wondering about that uh okay no. Saints Chargers half the Saints team is injured but they possibly can keep this close I don't know I'm gonna go with the Chargers yep Char- yeah I'm going go with the Chargers victory. they Very defensive game again they pissed me off because fantasy though they just decided to air it out Dobbins it, is gonna go off in this game Pete both this, I'm going Chargers I think so yeah I know watch Chargers they decided to air it out against the Cardinals I don't understand like they were just Will Disley was just going off. They were just wide open, I guess. But none of the receivers were getting open. Josh Palmer a little bit, but they need a receiver badly. McConkey yeah. a little bit. Here they could. Tra- they might. They're thinking about trading for Mike Williams. It's just a stupid. It sounds so stupid. I know the contract difference. They wanted to clear money, but let's bring Mike Williams back and trade. And trade something for him. Yeah. Even if it's small, like it's stupid. I don't know. You're not winning the Super Bowl this year, anyways. So, I, what's the point? What's the point? You know, I mean, Trey Harbaugh, if you're Harbaugh train, is always always in win win mode there. I know, win and now. they're pretty good. Their defense is really solid. Everyone's got them beating the Saints. Saints uh, still haven't won since people were calling them Super Bowl right. champions after right, the first two right. weeks. I apologized after they started two and zero. I told you I'll to take, take it the apology back. Oh, he's removing oh, the apology, the take back. Maybe, maybe that I get, told you to calm down. Maybe, two maybe, games. Maybe that'll get. Well, they remember they killed the Cowboys. So they, we were like, oh my god. The first couple weeks are stupid. I guess. I guess, but and things were going so perfectly for their like they run. The, I know they're really beat up now, but. Doesn't matter. Like so funny, they were just getting like so much attention then from the media, and then just two and five. Here we are, two and five. Falcos, folks. Every year, there's always teams that do it. Oh, we got ourselves a good one here, folks. Bills and Seahawks. Seahawks got a little healthier this last week, and they shellacked the Falcons in at Atlanta. Aunt that was Lana. for you. Uh, thank you. Atlanta, Atlanta. Uh yeah, so the Seahawks they might be solid if they got their if they're healthy, but DK a little beat up. But I'm mainly referring to the defense because the defense played much better. Uh, but DK a little beat up. I want to see if they're for real here. I, mean, I know the Bills aren't having a they're having a good year. Josh Allen's having a sneaky good year. Like, they are no, having a good year. That sounds like you said they aren't having a good year. No, I was I was like saying they're they're not having like Oops, the best sorry. the best year, but they're having a, they're having a good year. But um, taking the Bills, taking the Bills, yeah. Josh Allen's having a Josh Allen's having like a quiet, like really good year. Like no one's really talking about Josh Allen. He doesn't even have a, doesn't even have an interception this year. Like, I think people are talking. I saw somebody else tweet that. I'm like, I'm pretty sure people are that's like talking new, about him. That's like new for Josh Allen. He usually throws a pick a game, and he's just staying staying clean right now. I mean, Seattle defense better as it's he- getting healthier here. Uh, offense is always explosive. Like twelfth man, twelfth man at home. I, it's not like a broken record because I bring it up so much, but the Bills, are, you expect greatness, so that's probably why they're a greatness. great team. But the run defense always sus to me. It's always sus, and the Seahawks can pound the football. I think Kenneth Walker goes off in this game. They can control the clock because if you're playing the Seattle Seahawks, you're worried about all those weapons, and but you have to worry He's about to do it. He's not going to do so it. So you got to pound the football there, and they and they could uh, 
win that. I could definitely see it. I could see it. But DK a little beat up, so one, one, maybe one less weapon to worry about. I think Josh Allen has a big day on the ground, and they get James Cook and Ray Davis going. Amari Cooper looked good just already for his first game as a Buffalo Bill. I will take the Bills, but I can see if the C if you we fast forward, you say, say the Seahawks won the game, I'm going to say I bet you they ran all over them, controlled the clock. That's how they win the game. I could totally see it. I bet you they did. Yeah. Give me the Bills. He's taking the, the Bills. The Bills are going to bash him, I think. Bash him? Bash him. I think so. Boogie bash yeah, yeah, I, It's either a Bills bashing or the Bills losing a squeaker. Yeah, I would agree with that. I don't, I don't think the Bills winning a squeaker. Bills bashing or Bills losing a squeaker. Boogie bash him. Uh, Boogie bash him. Got cut today. Uh, Bills for Yeller. And this is Ryan Squeaker. He's going with the Bills and a squeaker. He knows. Oh, no. Longtime fan knows what a squeaker is. Yeah, Good man. We just said they're not winning a squeaker. Oh, so he, so we ha- have to put him here. We have to. <laughs> just, move, just change his pick for him. Nope, he's taking, he's, <laughs> no, he's he's taking, he's taking the Seahawks. You're taking Seattle, and you're going to like it. You're going to like it, Ryan. <laughs> oh, boy. That's okay. what you got to do. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my God. I can't wait to not watch this a one. Zero Evero game? This was a Super Bowl at one point. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> Fun fact. Uh, Broncos a little bit better than expected. At least they got that. At least both these teams got that. Yeah, least, right in right? their back pocket. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Give me Peyton Manning. Peyton yeah, Manning. Taking Peyton. <laughs> yeah. Taking Peyton. Taking Peyton. Von maybe. Miller. Von Miller and Peyton. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Carolina is so doomed. They're doomed. They're doomed. They're doomed. You see. Uh, Curry, everybody, Curry on uh, everybody. Yep. Scott Van Pelt. He said, "Keep pounding." He said, uh, "Yeah." He said, "He said, go Panthers." And uh, Scott Van Pelt's like, "Good luck with that." <laughs> Curry, Curry just started dying laughing. It, it just cut off. That it was over. Good Interview was over. That. I like that it was delayed too. It was one of those. Yeah. So like, stuff's just sitting there, and then he starts. Then he laughs, laughing, and, then, and, then it and then it goes away. <laughs> Well, okay, that was Steph Curry. I shouldn't laugh, though, at all, because, well, no, I'm a Lions fan, so No, you're, you're yeah. sitting at number yeah, one in the power doing good. My favorite part of that whole interview was, like, when he first got on, Scott Van Pelt's like, hey, man, I know you were just getting some shots up. And it's like, how do you know that? Yeah. Did he tell you before, like, hey, man, sorry, I was just getting some shots up? He looked a little sweaty. Maybe, yeah, maybe So he maybe he actually was getting some shots up. Maybe he did talk with them before he was like, how are you doing, he man? Was what are you doing? He's like, I was just getting some Maybe shots. Maybe it was code for something else. Maybe he was doing the do. He's getting some shots. You know what? what I'm saying? Well, okay. Oh, what's going on? Chiefs, Raiders. Let me tell you guys something. All oh, right. The no, Raiders that's... always get one on the Chiefs, and yeah. it's when you least expect it. Stop You're doing it. it. You're going to do it. it. And the Chiefs' offense it. is usually stinky in that game, and I don't – the offense isn't because it's, it's beat up right now. So I don't know if it's. I mean, it's still pretty damn good. But you see, Mahomes Stop had it. Mahomes had zero passing touchdowns and two picks, and they won. They won. Defense is good. It's gonna be a low scoring game. It's gonna be one of those ones where the Raiders stick in it. Here's the difference, though. The Raiders don't have that fire. They don't have that fire in their guard. They don't have the energy like they had in the past. Like end of last year when they upset the Chiefs. Gannon? They don't have that right now. Uh, the, I'm gonna go with the Chiefs, but man, the Raiders fire. always get them when you least expect it. Uh, no, the Chiefs are they are going to win because they're just way better. Way better. Okay. The Raiders have problems. A lot of problems. But what happened when the Raiders beat the Ravens, when the Ravens are way better? The Ravens were kind of – they started the year very meatball-y. Not, meatball-y. Yeah, meatball-y. meatball-y. <laughs> they weren't playing hot. They, they they had to really take a deep look I in thought, the mirror. I thought the Ravens were going to blow it again uh, last night. They like The whole beginning of the game, Henry wasn't touching the ball, and also they – they're said like, okay. Raiders, you mean Ravens. Did I say? I don't I think know. You said, said Raiders. I thought I said Ravens. I think yeah. he said Ravens. I no. don't know. They weren't giving. I thought the Bucks were going to shellack him at first. Yeah, I was I, feeling good about my. Henry pick. had like four carries and it was like middle of the second. If quarter. Baker didn't throw that pick and they scored a touchdown, I think it'd have been a whole different ball game. Then they got. They ain't got on the rock. Get him the rock. Good Chiefs. Tractor Cito. Meet Bali. They but, weren't giving Tractor Cito the ball. That's why the Raiders beat. Beat the Ravens. They weren't figuring it out there. Okay. Chiefs simple, are never losing again. Simple as again. that. Never? They're never losing again. Never. Okay. Rye. Got the Chiefs, right? Birthday Rye, guy. You gave him a yeah. nickname You now? know. It yeah. says Ryan Fish on his is his handle. Huh. That's Rye? His, Rye? Rye, my, my guy, Rye. Rye bread? Yes or no? Uh, I don't know. Confirm no. No? 
Okay. Firm no. Firm no. Well. Oh, the Bears in the Commanders. Possibly Caleb Williams versus Jaden Daniels, the first and second pick. The Commanders are wearing their blacks, as you can tell by the graphic. Oh, it's going to be a good one. This is offense versus defense in this one. The The Bears offense has been picking it up, though, and the Commanders defense has been picking it up. This could be a good one, folks. Mariota had to come in. Looks pretty good. Mariota to the goal line. Mariota to the goal line, folks. <clears throat> um, Bears are favored. It's a different matchup for the Commanders. they got to play a really good defense. This could be a tough challenge. It could be a rookie-type game for Jaden Daniels if he plays. It's going to be – the Bears are off the bye. Junior. I spoke going, with Dan. Me and Dan. Oh, you taking, talked to Dan. Yeah, I talked to him. Me and him are taking the Bears. Uh, it doesn't matter who's the quarterback for the Commanders. It doesn't matter what jerseys they're wearing. I, I'm a big jersey guy. It doesn't matter the jerseys they're wearing. They're going to come you in You got there. a jersey on right now. And I, well, that was the whole joke, Pete. I'm not a jersey. All right, never mind. But, uh, yeah, no, Bears win. Uh, you know Yeller's going with the Commanders? That is so rude. Pete? Oh man, this is this might be this might be the toughest game to pick. I feel like Pete? this week. I like the Commanders at home. I just don't know about Jaden Daniels' status. I also just don't know how he's going to do against this Bears defense because this Bears defense is Frisky. legit. Um, man, Pete, I took your team. If Jaden Daniels plays, I'm going to take the Commanders in a squeaker. If he doesn't play, I could still see them winning. But I would take the Bears know, if he doesn't tough. play. Mariota against that defense, no good. But I think it's going to be close. Bears got to go and beat a good team. Here's their chance, and then if they do it, then maybe I pick them some more. But we're going to take the Commanders off. The thing I like about the Commanders is the defense looked really bad early in the year, but it actually looks really solid lately. So I th they do run a lot of man coverage, though. The Bears, their last, most recent game, they diced up some man coverage. It was the Jags. But are we so sure that Washington's that good? Are we so sure? I don't think they're going to stay that good. They they are that good right now. I mean, Mariota comes in and they're still like really good. They play so the Panthers though. Uh, yeah, but the Panthers could score some points. They held them to seven. So, oh, yeah. but that has nothing to do with Mariota. <clears throat> yeah, but they, Mariota was scoring. I mean, no matter who's in there, it looks like they're they got they they're feeling it right now. They're feeling it. So, I think they're really good right now. I don't know if it's going to last. I think there's going to be a game plan at some point. It could be this week with the Bears defense. But uh, I'm the same boat as you. Just give me the, give me the Commanders if Daniels is playing. I think he's going to play, but. Put some batting on I love Mariota. Love me some Mariota, too. But I'm you come in go. there and take a helmet to the ribs. That's what you do. Yeah. <laughs> right? You got to. This got one it. got flexed to late afternoon, right? Yeah. Is that, is that, is that a bad thing to say? Well, Someone is injured and you know they're playing injured. You're not going to try to hit them hard? Yeah. That's a bad thing to say? Yeah. It's not like I'm trying to knock his head off. Yeah, or like if he slides down, you're going to just pounce on him. That Don't do that. Yeah. But, like, hit him hard. You have a clean shot. You can either go for the ball or hit him. You're hitting him. What do you guys think about uh, the whole Mahomes scramble where you like like he was gonna get he was giving up and he was gonna go out of bounds and all of a sudden he just snaked down the sideline. Smart. I always wondered why quarterbacks all do that more. Yeah. I literally always. Someone wondered. should just light his ass up one of these times. <laughs> I just I really hope really hope they do it. I think it just lit a fire inside of. You see Mahomes <laughs> light up. I, uh, uh, his who the his, hell was it? His I'm dad bought. Yeah, it was what is what's the guy's name? Malik Mustafa. Mustafa. It was the rookie, yeah. yep. He just trucked the shit out of him. Speaking of the 49ers. Oh, we got some Sunday night football retros for the Niners. We got oh, Cowboys yeah. at 49ers. Cowboys getting a, little, getting a little healthy, getting fresh off the bye, playing up the extremely beat up 49ers. I mean, just depleted with injuries. But that Cowboys defense stank. You don't stank. mess with the Niners in prime time football, and they're at home on top of it. Give me the Niners. Niners roll That's in this tough. one. Is Jawan Jennings going to suit up even? I know he's. I mean, they got a bunch of injuries. I don't even I care in a game like this. It's a problem, but I don't care in a game like this. This is a Ricky Pearsall game right here. Give me the Niners. It's going to be a big story. Like he's, he, he, I know he was, already, he was active last week, but he's going to be in the lineup probably playing a lot of snaps. Heavy. Let's Heavy? go. Yeah. He's going to give me the Niners at home. I'm tempted to take the Cowboys here. I'm a little here. tempted, too. I'm, especially the Cowboys seem to play better on the road. And the Niners are 3-4. and four. They're not. not doing and, great. yeah, the injuries really concern me. I just – it's tough. But You're taking them. Everyone's got the them. Niners, apparently. We're just all in on the Niners still. Yeah. They're never – Not really all in. I just – the Cowboys well, – I'm saying we're all we're – all 
picking. Them. Bad matchup for the Cowboys because the Niners are no matter who's in there, they're a physical team, and that's Cowboys don't like that. They're going to pound the ball up the middle. They're not going to be able to stop it. On top of that, it's in San Francisco, a tough place to play, home field advantage. On top of that, the Niners are it's dangerous always in prime time. Dangerous. Niners. Rye. You said everyone. Right, right. Right. That's what I was saying. We're all in. Birthday boy. Okay, he's got it. Birthday Happy boy. Happy birthday to you. Oh, the Steelers are wearing the black uniforms. Giants at Steelers. Russ taking over mm, in Russ. second half. Russ, what, a, what, a, what a duo, Russ and Arthur. Yeah, taking over. What is with the schedule for the Steelers? They That's the softest schedule I've ever seen in my entire well, life. Well, not even that. They have three home prime time games in the last like what four Easiest weeks schedule ever everyone loves the Steelers for some reason I don't know they got the, all these prime times are home yeah just give, give everyone the Steelers you already know like it's just, Giants stink say not so fast here Pete I'm just saying like they're they just they get the get the home prime time games they get a soft schedule they lost over the here. Cowboys home prime time I love Arthur Smith that's the only thing I like about the Steelers over there this is actually my Drew Locke pick of the week all yeah, right, this, this makes sense. Giants got shellacked last week, but you're not picking them. But again, the defense still plays very well. You know, the defensive line, Dexter Lawrence, these guys are these guys are nuts. So they can cause Russ some problems. It can look more like we expected a Russ offense. You know, the Steelers' offense look like once again, and they could struggle. But I don't trust the Giants' offense in Pittsburgh against that defense at all. So this is going to be a very low-scoring game. I think the Giants actually keep it close because I think the Giants' defense plays better than the Sewers' offense. But I just do not the Giants. I just don't trust the Giants' offense to do anything. I'm going to take Sewers at home primetime football. But the Giants think, seem to be better away, it feels like. I don't know. So I mean, this helps them. I just think this is like – after watching it too, I, think, I don't know why I didn't think of it, but this is like the perfect – I was already saying Arthur Smith and Russell Wilson. It's like the perfect quarterback OC pairing right there. Like bunch of dorks. <laughs> they want to pound the ball. Arthur Smith wants to pound the ball and go play action. Russell Wilson is really good out off of play action, hitting those deep shots. And like that's what they're that's what they're gonna do. He scared me early in that game. He was just throwing it at the receiver's feet. <laughs> he had to get warmed up. Then he got his touch the touchback. Yeah, underneath that's it. right. He just lobs it. I could see the Giants being sneaky in this one, but I'm not gonna pick it. It, 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 I'm gonna pick last pickets. Week. Uh, it, it could be like a three to nine final. I could see there's gonna be more scoring than that, but I could see it. I could definitely see it. Everybody pit, right? Everybody pit, pit. Birthday boy, pit, 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 pit. Yeah, birthday boy, birthday boy. Okay, there. No buy teams. God. Next week. Next week. Next Back week. At okay. It. Any zingers for me, guys? My guys? No. No. Pete, Pete no. already shared. Pete needs to get that guy's name. I'll get it for us. We give him a proper shout-out. I feel out. bad. Like I, I mean, I was in a rush. I was, like, trying to get back in the weight room. I, it definitely started with a J. Yeah, you need to get in the weight room. Uh, <laughs> you, Pete, you should sign a football for him. Sign Just football. hand it to him. He's like, hey, buddy, jo- I know you watched the video. I Joe? forgot your last name. Joe? Hey, little buddy. <laughs> Joe? Josh? Joe or Josh, I think. You're fucking up. Joe or Josh? Dude, you got to give him some. Bring, now sign, I feel bad. Sign him he's a football. watching. Right, sign him a football and apologize to him because he's going to come in tomorrow to work. Just surprised. Sad. Just surprised. It the first time I saw him, like ever. Yeah, like the first time. Are like, you sure first, he's real? First time he saw me. Pigskin Pete. Yeah. Wait, wait, is he real? He's real. You shook his hand. Shook his hand. Did you dream this last night? No. Did he have a good hand? I texted you guys right when it happened. Right, but did it actually happen? It did. You didn't tell us what happened, though. Yeah, I know, because I wanted to save it for Yeah, the, but you just made the up video. the story now. You dreamt no. it. I'm starting to think. Have you ever seen Guys. the movie Beautiful Mind? Russell Crowe? I don't think so. Hopefully he comments in the video so he could prove he could prove it's Yeah, it we need real. to know he's real. And he could provide his name as well. You ever well. get a selfie with him? You ever see that movie? Selfie? I'll get a selfie with him. I'll try to get a selfie with him. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be good. <laughs> we'll post it. Uh, you ever see the movie Midsummer? Pete's seen it. That's a Midsummer? It's just, yeah. So, no. Midsommar? So, so, no. Midsummer? It's summer, but it's, it's like S O M M A. It is a interesting movie, let me tell you. A little kind of scary. Don't I mean, not scary. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. Why? Don't, don't waste your time. Well, you just said it's a good movie. It's, I didn't say it was a good movie. I said it was a weird movie. It's like oh. known as a good movie, but it's it's weird. It's, it's a little disturbing. Very disturbing. Is it is it made to be a scary movie? It's made to be disturbing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out. Is it gory? Yeah. Definitely out. Okay. I don't like these kind of things. 
I don't watch any true crime nonsense like that. I just no. don't do that. Right. Actually, I say that, but then I did watch the whole. Did you see the Menendez brothers thing? Not yet. Ooh, you I want to watch that. Yeah, like the show. Not the because the, after there was like a documentary released the week after. Is there something, something new about it? Them? Well, new no, Netflix. Not really. There's that. two. There's one. Is, is I was going to watch the newest one because I saw it. Yeah, I don't know. One's a documentary. One's a series. Okay. Uh, be careful with the series. There's lots of pee pee. Not pee- lots. There's just some pee pee in there. P? Pee? No pee pee. Pee pee. Yeah, pee-pee. we got to be YouTube appropriate. There's some pee pee in there. Okay. It's a great show. Not that part, but great show. Oh, I got something else too. I, I, I you heard about this? So, I'm having a baby boy. I don't know if we even. I don't know if we hey. said that. Oh, there we go. Uh, we went for the ultrasound yesterday. It's like they were going like they're on they're on my my pregnant fiance's belly there with the with the thing and also like we see we see his we see his pee pee. Nice. And also we see like his hand on his on his pee pee. He was holding his pee pee. Wow. In, in, in the in the womb there. He's got a firm grip on that. Yeah, thing? he had a firm grip on it. <laughs> wow. Nice grip. Nice, nice grip. Grip. Well, well, okay. While we're talking about pee pees. <laughs> Speaking of pee Speaking of pee-pees, I, how's, how's the bathroom? <laughs> it's great, actually. Good. so good. good. Dude, I haven't missed the poop long? in probably like four months. There we go. Speaking of pee-pee, I actually have to go pee-pee. Oh, right yeah. Now, like Doesn't really bad. Right. It was early in the video I had to go. Um, what, was your, what was your pee-pee count at for the draft this year? My this pee-pee session? count on Thursday when I left here to go to Key West was insane. Oh. It was like... Before I got to Key West, I pissed six times. Like it was, it was absolutely Counter absurd. Counter was at like three or four. It had to be right. It was more than that. Was it? It was more than that. No, no this year it was less. I think it was two. I think the year before was like four. Mm. That's rough. I literally, I left. Oh, I left home, Chicago area to go at six a.m. And before I got to the Keys, I, I at least six times, six or seven. We had count. Yes, I peed in the plane, which is not fun. I be on the plane on the way back, and that was the only time we had turbulence. Is when I made it to the bathroom, I was like, "Oh, oh. did you get some on you?" I got it all over the, <laughs> everywhere. Like, I'm not even kidding. It was all over the ceiling. No, no, I'm exaggerating. <laughs> um, whoa, 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 okay, that's all they're going to say. Well, okay, uh, that that'll do it from the plane. We're up in the plane. Yeah, uh, very. Whoa, okay, all right, all right, <laughs> that'll do it. For week eight pickums, we will be been, we will be back next week with week nine, week nine pickums. pickums. That's right, hey, right? Hey, right. Ryan, better watch if I see you in the streets, dude. You're done. <laughs> done. Well, okay, no, it's his birthday. Come on, All right. come on. It's his Wait, birthday. I'm not gonna see what, what, was that four? what was that four again? Anyways, uh, what? Oh, did he? Did he take the Commanders? I didn't even pay Is attention. That what it was? He took, he took if, the, if Daniels is playing, he took the Manders. You know he, he'll take the Bears. I Mar- stand by that statement. If I see you in the streets, so you're done. But it's his, birthday. it's his birthday. He's getting to be a big boy. You better watch out now. Until and then he's gonna like it's his birthday. He's turned like twelve, and I just threatened to beat up a twelve year old. No, now I'm in now I'm in trouble. Twenty seven. Looks like a grown man. He's he's got a goatee on this. That's his a bit emoji. It's not him. Yeah, but I mean, he's he's a grown man. Is he fishing? Is that what he, he said? He's, he said he's turning twenty seven. He in that. He's fishing in that. Nice. Because Pollock is a fish, and he's Ryan Fish. That's his Twitter handle. Yeah. Ah. Well, okay, that's gonna that's gonna do it. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and <laughs> turn notifications on. All righty. Why'd your voice change? I don't know. <laughs> Come on. Come on.